show today. How has she been since the visit? Let's uh, take a look for ourselves. Are you ready to be charmed? Okay, you be strong. I'd like to see you both strong and charming. You were caught breaking into an apartment. I did not break into that apartment, Sally. I walked into that apartment because the apartment was open and I just walked in there. I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. Just talk to me. If you're going to be strong, just talk to me. When my neighbor's house, where I live in the country, is open, do I have the right to walk into my house? It was an empty apartment. Did somebody own it? If it is not yours, you can't walk into your neighbor's apartment. Now, why, why are you being evicted? Why is the family being evicted? Because I was in that apartment. My brother shut out windows with BB guns. He got put on probation. And she didn't do anything about it, okay? She let him go out the next day. She let him go out the next day. Okay. The next day. You have made statements about hating your mother. Yes. Can we understand, and let's be quiet and listen to her, why do you hate your mother? Because she kept me from my father. That's why she kept me from my father. She took me away from my father when I was nine years old. When I lived in Florida, she packed up everything and just left. Told me a lie saying we're only going to visit my grandma in Chicago and that was it. She just Jack packed her stuff and left. Let me tell you something. It. Very few mothers, and especially not your two, would abandon you. They would do what a woman needs to do. If it's wrong in that household, you pick up your children and you get the heck out of there. She couldn't hang with them no more. She couldn't hang with them so she left. She left. She didn't want to have any hope with my father. She just left my father. That's all she did. She left my father. That's what she did. Wait a minute, guys. Don't you see what she has done? She has changed it from her to the mother, and you let her get away with it. You said you weren't going to be taken by anybody charming. This is not about your mother leaving your father. This is not about her. This is about you. Did you hit grandmother? No, she hit me. She threatened my life. She threatened my life. that you need to learn, you of all people need to learn. I have to tell you, if your mother leaves your father, that is her business. Just listen. She makes her peace with the God and the world and the community and whatever. Everybody in this world has a boss. Me, Al, all the people here have somebody, whether it's a mother or a father or a boss or something. The world is not a fair place. When you're growing up, these two people are the boss, okay? She's your immediate boss and she's senior boss. And you owe them respect because you got a roof over your head and you've got some food to eat. And that's a lot more than a lot of other people have. You may think they were wrong in divorce. You may think they're wrong in anything else. For your but no, what? I don't need help, please. Go. Listen, I need to get out of the house with them, okay? I cannot communicate with them. Go ahead. 
when I first came into the studio, Listen, Jacqueline, remember, Listen. you sat out there and you spoke to me and my family. Each and every one of us deal with people like you on a day-to-day -day basis, hundreds of them a year. And you gave us the first sign that you're phony. Because when I first met you, you said all this stuff about your father and all this other things that you just wanted sympathy. That's all you want. You're crying out for attention and you're crying out for the wrong ways. That's what you're doing. And you did it. You tried. You tried to get us all. No. You no, set you up. No. We are all. No. We all work with people like you. There are counselors for battered women. I work with teens that that um that are on the edge. We call them edge teens. You gave us the. You, we gave. You gave us every sign. Every single sign you gave it to us. We love you, and that's why you're here. This guy right here and this guy are in the Coast Guard. We went to boot camp. You want to get out of that house? You go to boot camp. It'll be the best thing for you. Tell you guys you don't understand. We'll be right back. What does he do to his mother? He's 17. What does he do to his mother? He has he hit me. He's put me in a headlock. He's pushed me into the freezer. He cusses me. Why don't you go to school? You've been 45 days the whole year. He's in 11th grade and he has one credit. <laughs> Harry, how many times have you been arrested? I'll keep track. <laughs> what you say? I don't respect my mom. I think so I So who's the one I hit? Who's the one? No, no, who's the one I hit? I did.